In this video, I will show you a mind-blowing and very powerful feature on the DJI Mini 5 Pro. So pay close attention, because this might completely change how you fly your drone. With just one single button, you can layer multiple movements and your drone pulls off smooth and professional footage for you. And all of that completely automatic. Complex movements that normally require a lot of experience and skills become easier than never before. So here's how it works. Let's say I want to do an orbit shot around this building. I simply start by pushing the right stick to the left. And with the left stick, I push slightly to the opposite direction. If I now find the sweet spot to keep the subject in the center of the frame, I am ready to execute the cruise control function. For me, it's C2. And if I now press this button, the drone will continue this exact movement automatically for me. If the orbit is too fast or too slow, I can also fine-tune my existing movement during the flight. By pressing C2 again, I can override and update the movement. No hands needed, just enjoy the show. But that's only the start. Here is where it gets really powerful. You can also add even more layers of movement, like a rise up for example. Here I gently pull the left stick up to gain altitude. Another press on C2 and the drone again updates the cruise control path. Meaning your new combined motion is now locked in too. Easy. You just combined three movements without using your hands. Now you could take it even further and tilt the gimbal wheel to angle the camera downward for example. Right now I'm manually turning the wheel, but of course I could also update the tilt movement with C2 again. Consider the fact that these are four layers of movement now. Cool right? This is a total game changer especially for beginners or anyone who finds it tricky to control multiple stick movements at once. During the cruise control mode, you can always stop the action by pressing C2. Obviously, you shouldn't pull the stick or the wheel, otherwise it will again just update it. Let's do another example. Here I want to fly forward and down a little bit. And at the same time, I want to tilt the gimbal upwards to reveal the landscape. I start by flying forward with the right stick. Now I gently pull down the left stick. And by pressing C2, I can lock in these two movements. The yellow numbers on the bottom of the screen actually show you the locked in speed values of your movement. So always keep an eye on them to check that you're pulling off smooth movements. Always play around and watch out for the sweet spot. Don't be hectic. Gentle stick inputs are enough here. Always keep it slow and controlled. This way you achieve the best results. Yes, this looks beautiful. Now I will show you how to actually set up this function. To enable cruise control, press the three dots at the top right, move to the control tab next to safety and if you now scroll to the bottom of this menu, you will find the button customization tab. Here you can assign this function to one of your custom buttons. It doesn't matter if you use C1 or C2, whichever you prefer. C1 by default is the quick 90 degree gimbal tilt, which is a very useful function. And since C2 is normally the switch from horizontal to vertical mode, it makes more sense to use this button instead. When you get used to it and implement cruise control into your workflow, this function quickly becomes irreplaceable and will be your new favorite. Especially for beginners, it's way more powerful than any other setting on this drone. So that's the cruise control feature on the DJI Mini 5 Pro. Super useful, super powerful and honestly underrated. Let me know in the comments if you are already using this function. And if not, 
try it out on your next flight. You will be amazed at how smooth your shots look and what you can achieve with it. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe and check out my next videos about the DJI Mini 5 Pro and overall tips about this drone. Thanks for watching.